Welcome to this quick guide on how to create consistent characters in Leonardo AI. In this video, I'll show you the easiest and quickest way to generate a series of images featuring the same person in different settings and scenarios. I'm using the free version of Leonardo, so you can easily follow along without spending any money. These consistent characters can be used in various applications, such as creating AI influencers, comics, or storybooks. So, without further ado, let's dive into the video. First, head over to leonardo.ai and create an account for free. You'll receive 150 credits once your account is set up. The initial step in the process is to craft the prompt for your character. If you're aiming to create an AI influencer, this step is crucial, as you'll need to spend time developing a prompt that generates a unique and distinctive character. For inspiration, you can scroll through the website to see a collection of images. Click on one, you like to view the prompt used to create it. You can use this prompt directly or modify it according to your needs. Next, click on Create New Image and enter your prompt. Then, choose the model. I'll be using Leonardo Diffusion XL and select the number of images you want to generate in each round. I recommend keeping it to one initially, as you'll likely need to iterate a few times to perfect your character. It's also beneficial to include negative prompts to achieve better and more refined results. All prompts used in this video, along with the negative prompts, will be available in the blog linked in the description. Once you've set everything up, click on Generate. After a few generations, I obtained an image that was close to what I envisioned. Note that I'm using the free version, but if you have the paid version, you can enable the photoreal option for more realistic images. Once you have the desired image, click on the three dots at the top and copy the seed, which we'll use for future images. Then, scroll down and click on Show Advanced Settings and activate Use Fixed Seed. Paste the seed you copied earlier. Now, if you regenerate the image without changing the prompt, you'll get the exact same image. The next and final step involves updating the prompt to change aspects such as the dress, accessories, background, and pose before generating the images. For example, if I change the dress color and background information and then regenerate, we get the same character but in a different setting. I generated a few more images, which you can see on the screen, and the results were surprisingly good except for the ones where I tried to change the pose. Interestingly, this method is not only effective for human characters, but also for creating consistent anime or cartoon characters, so be sure to try this out. I hope you found this quick guide helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button to help me reach 1,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.